In this video, we're going to examine different translations. Mainly, we're going to examine the translations that move a function upwards, uh, to the right, down, and to the left. So I'm going to be starting off with this black function right here, which is known as f of x, and the function is actually given as 1 half or 0.5 to the x. So what I see is I'm going to move this function to the left here. So if I want to actually count that, I move 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. So if I want to keep track of that, I can say 4 to the left. If I'm moving to the left, that means I'm going to use this format to change my function. So my function is going to start as f of x, and then I am going to add my change to the x. So if I go into my function, I go ahead and I take my function, which is f of x equals 0.5 to the x. Then I need to take my change, which is the 4, and it's 4 to the left, and to go left I'm going to add to my x. So I'm going to say plus 4, plus 4. This right here is the new equation of this red line that has been changed. If I want to move to the right here, you can see that I've moved my function. Hang on. Let's get this proper layer here. I'm moving to the right here. I'm moving the black one to the red one. So I'm going to focus on this translation. I'm going to take my f of x and I'm going to subtract a constant from my x. So this is going to be the change and I'm going to subtract it from the x. So again I have to see how far I move. I move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm taking 6 to the right. So if I want to take my original equation, which again is my f of x is 0.5, f of x is 0.5 x to the x power. But I have to have my translation happening, and that is a negative. So I'm going to go ahead and say negative 6, negative 6. So to go left and right, to go left or right, I'm going to be messing with the x. I'm inside my parentheses both times, messing with the x. I add to go left, and I subtract to go right. Up and down is going to be a little different. So to go up and down, here if we want to look at my graph, it looks like I've gone down. So I take this and I can count down. I was at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I go down 9 and that means I'm going to focus on this change. So if I take my f of x, I'm going to take away from that whole thing a constant. So that means I'm going to take my f of x and I'm going to take away a constant here. So I'm going to go ahead and start that here, f of x, and that equals 0.5 to the x. But if I want the equation of the red line, the new line, I have to take away my 9 and take away my 9. So this here would be the equation of the red line. Then if I want to go up, we have one more translation, and that is the one that is modeled here. So I'm going up. And so we're going to have this translation happening. Um, I'm going up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's up 6. So that means I'm going to add 6 to my f of x. So I take my f of x again, which is my same equation as before. f of x equals 0.5 to the x. 
And in order to get my new equation, I'm going to have to add, should have made a little more room, add my 6 to that equation. And then now I have the equation of the new line. So if we want to review, every single time I have my black line right here. Here's the black line, and here's the new red line. Same with this one, my black line, and the new shifted to the right red line. Then I have my black line, and my new shifted down red line. And then finally my black line again, and my new shifted up red line. I hope that helps.